Okay, so this next set of um, ideas is about what you can do once you've created a grid. So first simple thing that you can do is join um, sections together. So to do this, um, we can take the grid lock off and we can select the attach tool. Um, what I can then do is if I go to where the line tool is, which is at the top on the right, and I can go draw a series of connected lines. Now what that allows me to then do is draw lines um, between the uh, points where the lines connect and that there is one simple design. Press escape when I finish there um, and I could delete lines that were not necessary for the design so perhaps I could delete these here uh, and perhaps delete these here okay so um, that's pretty much uh, a finished design there now one problem I'm going to have is when I'm on the laser cutter if this is cut out I'm going to have a series of triangles that I then have to all stick together now what's going to work much better is where I to select this contour tool and I'm just going to have in this case a one millimeter spacing press OK I'm just going to select that circle and you can see that using this tool it creates another line on the inside of it I can now delete the uh, original circle and you can now imagine that if this star shape were cut out on the laser cutter because I've got these little gaps here it's all going to be held together so that's one idea and there's lots of variations on that that you can do okay so using that same tool this contour tool uh, this time I'm going to set it to a two millimeter space press OK and all I'm going to do is click on the inside of these spaces okay so that's a, a second idea now again what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these parts of the line here like so because they're not needed and I, if I can just edit undo press that final line and that's my second design there and you can see that again I can cut this whole thing out um, you know using the laser cutter and I'm going to be left with one design so another idea uh, on this third shape is I could draw a circle uh, in this case I'm going to go for the first option draw a circle with a given center point I could go to I'm going to use the uh, attach option and this time what I'm going to do is uh, get it to somewhere like there and I'm going to rotate this design so I'm going to rotate that 30 degrees times 6 press OK I'm going to put it on grid lock and there's the center and you can see it's given me a series of shapes now you can see on that instance it's only gone halfway around so I need to change the array so I'm going to undo that let's see if we can do a different option so sorry go to transform select my circle go to transform uh, I'm gonna go for 60 degrees actually press OK select the center and I've now got this sort of Olympic ring type design here so what I'm gonna do is just start trimming away some lines and really seeing what I come up with So you can start to see I'm almost getting like a flower effect. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave it at that. But there's some ideas for how you can generate some design using a contour tool and using this transform tool.